Alright guys, so welcome back to this episode. Uh, we got ourselves a new ring. And uh, apparently some armor. So the Shoes of Hail. Uh, I think I'm only wearing three pieces right now. Shoes of Hail are 10% mana regeneration per second. Slightly more defense. No, oh, one more defense. Not really worth mentioning. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of those because they're not really worth anything. And then we're going to go ahead and put on the Maiden's Ring, which gives you a 10% health bonus. Now that's pretty nice. That'll boost up our health to about 86, I do believe. Let me see to make sure. 85. Close enough. Uh, and then you've got like all sorts of um, abilities and stuff. That's locked again because we got rid of those. Backstab. Silent Scythe. So the backstab is nowhere near, or, or the backstab is much more effective versus Silent Scythe. Silent Scythe is nowhere near as effective. Uh, it doesn't tell you that. It's just something that you figure out on your own after experimenting with things. Uh, boom! Shield Bash is pretty cool. Quake is pretty neat. We got Shadow Flare now. I unlocked that ability. So, yeah, we got this. You uh, dust them, and then they're stunned. And then you can throw daggers at people. It's a pretty cool ability. Good for hitting several people in front of you. And uh, has a chance to deal bleed damage. So it's just stacking some a little bit more damage on. And uh, I upgraded Detect Hidden. That was my skill point that I spent. Ah, excuse me. And uh, so that lets me see enemies on the minimap further than I was able to before. Which is pretty helpful. So we're rolling out. <clears throat> now, where am I going? I should be, yeah, right there. That's the that's the War Sworn. Uh, that's the War Sworn area. I'm going to go ahead and identify that. Because after I go back to Gore, Gorehost, I think is what it's called, Gorthart, that place, uh, they t he tells me to go down here and uh, an enlist if I'm interested, which you might as well be interested because it's just a series of quests and extra gear that you can get. Although most of the gear and stuff that they give out is uh, warrior related, so it's might related, um, but it's a thing to do. What we're going to do is we're going to head our way up towards uh, the Crast Brothers. I also invested a little bit more in my Dagger Mastery. Because I really, since I'm doing finesse and sorcery, I figured it was worthwhile. Now, there are a couple of abilities that you can earn uh, that make it so... Is this... Have I already unlocked this? Yes, I have. There are a couple of abilities that you can unlock that make it so that if you attack a bleeding enemy, you do bonus damage. So that's why this is a pretty good skill uh, to keep and to have. Now you don't really have to worry about divvying out your uh, your ability points as much because it really isn't very expensive to unbind your destiny and then try again. Oh, there's an arrow. Uh, there's a couple of archers. I hate archers. But I love killing people like that. Boom. Now oh, they're all dead. We are the champions, my friends. And if you go over here, boom. Like I said, find some more crafting materials. You always find crafting materials in those things. And the last of the Crafts Brothers is uh, is right up here. Got some dudes chilling over here. Ha! See, you do way more damage executing people with daggers than you do with Fey Blades. See how I did like a thousand, like I did 1200 damage? If I did that with Fey Blades, I would have done like 70 damage. Or 80, maybe. You never do as much. Uh, you never do as much death damage uh, with Fey Blades as you do with daggers. Hands down, 100%, no doubt. I 
I don't know why it doesn't tell you that in the screen, like in the ability screen and stuff. I don't know why it doesn't let you know that that's the case. It doesn't. But whatevs. Um, I don't think we'll be able to sneak up on these guys at all. Nope, that guy, that guy saw me before I was even ready. That's fine, we'll just... That's the uh, Crast brother right there. <laughs> now what I should have done, I wasn't paying attention. I should have used my fate ability on that. I feel that as a uh, as a thief, I use my dodge ability much more so than I use my parry ability. Now they're both pretty much equally useful. It's just I don't know. I tend to I, I tend to uh, to dodge before I parry. I like to get out of the way of an attack rather than try to stand and uh, like tank it in this game. Uh, most other games, I usually play the exact opposite. I run and gun, or the equivalent. Uh, but in this game, I don't know. I just for some reason, my first instinct is dodge it. You know, get the fuck out of the way. Oh, that's a bear. Dodge it! Dodge it! Come on, bear. What you got, son? What you got? Nothing! I love that. I, I just, I love that dash ability. I don't know what it is about dashing through the snow on a one-horse open sleigh, but something about it just screams bloodlust and fury. That's not true. Uh, that's a Christmas carol. But dashing through your enemies uh, with bloody open wounds now that that screams badass so we're gonna fast travel back to Warthart. we're gonna go ahead and turn this quest in then we're gonna go to the war sworn and uh talk to them about some shit and then we're gonna go to arden's uh hut and we're gonna continue the main quest because now we're level like three or four so it's about time what's up ost well done no one will take this to shield ring keep and speak next time i see you Maybe under war sworn back. And then you can get a, I believe you can get the war sworn armor set, which if you don't have access to the uh, the other sets at the beginning of the game, the war sworn is like one of the first sets that you get that's really good. Uh, but I'm not 100 percent positive on that. Um, I think that's the case, but I a lot of the times I mix and match games because there's so many that are so similar. So then we talk to this guy here, this old dude with his beard. A commendation from our dirt. That'll get you your first assignment. So was more than that demand soldiers work. Alright, tell me about orc. Don't get any big ideas. Heroic deeds are long past, and the war is far away. But there's honest soldiers' work to be done. Hirelings earn good pay for standing guard dealing with in fact, there is a patrol sitting out shortly. If a merchant group has retained us to discover why traders have been travel to Dyden Hill and meet us, then report to Warden's Bridge. You and a crew of other hot find hired, then join the patrol and look good. All right, there you go. So uh, in here, there are some hidden doors. I'm not going to pick that because I just don't care. There are some hidden doors and stuff around here. If I can remember the position, they're not in. They're not down here. If I can I remember exactly where they are. No. Ah, here. There's one right here. This is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is a hidden door. Um, but you have to level up your detect hidden before you can actually find hidden Sword doors. And uh, it's it, it's pretty cool if you do, because finding hidden doors in dungeons, especially, is a big deal. Uh, it it's just like 
access to free treasure a lot of the times. Yes. Stop, God, mind you. It's oh, if all you want is caught. Yes. Take on with you. So then you can go to the contractor's board. And uh, you can go ahead and do these. Sure, I'm and proud. Aren't I war sworn? So you can go with that. Let's see. I think there is a hidden door somewhere in here. Can't remember for sure though if that's the case. Yes. I'm quartermaster here. So you can shop. You can buy a lot of stuff. Uh, sell all your junk. There's seven grand for me. And uh, you know you can buy a whole bunch of different daggers, but normally the starting stuff it, it just doesn't match. Uh, these daggers of puncturing are actually pretty good, though. Uh, 16 damage. Yeah. Not bad. There's actually some decent daggers. And then you'll get, like, the Hales gloves, which, even though they're all, like, gloves, armor, helmet, and boots of the Hale, literally, there's literally nothing that really sets them apart. Like, they're not... They're not a, uh... Ooh, I'll get a flame disc. I have good war swap time. They're literally not anything... They're not a set. So it makes you think that it'd be a set, but it isn't. Now, daggers, we need, uh... We need dagger blades, we need this hilt. And, uh, then we can actually make our first daggers. Later on, you're able to make, uh... If you level up... Like, I'll go ahead and show you. A longsword. So if you use that, that's 13 base damage. You can use this, increases, a, it's a basic sharpening hilt. So it'll give you, and then it shows you what the bonus is, like right over here when you equip that. So this, for instance, this blade, this iron blade, gives you 15 physical damage, five piercing damage. Okay, that's cool. As you level up, you're able to make even better things by combining more um, objects. You can use gems later on in your crafting components. You can use uh, three or four crafting components as you level up your blacksmithing, uh, which is cool. Uh, it allows you to make much more powerful weapons. Right now, if we just use that, we'll create a longsword. These are the stats equipped to it, and that's the base damage. Not bad. Uh, and then you can compare it to like whatever else and decide whether you want to make it or not. And then after that, you, uh, you get to name it, so you can name it whatever you want. You can name it the uh, Sword of Stabbing Guys in the in the Penis. You can name it whatever you want. Now, I'll show you what the Chakrams, for instance. We'll head over here. Uh, to repair. This guy should have some stuff. We'll just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Keep looking, keep looking. Yeah, small iron blades. That's for daggers. I didn't mean to buy as many as I did. Where's the thing that I actually need to make? Alright, they don't have it. But you see, you've got like different bindings. This will give you critical uh, hit with uh, with uh, melee, with physical, so 3% chance to crit with physical attacks, uh, lightning damage, uh, health regeneration, mana regeneration, fire damage, poison damage, so on and so forth. So you've got all these different things with the bindings. Which you can go ahead and, uh, and equip if you want. When you're making new weapons. So if we go over here, we saw that uh, we can now make daggers. So you got small iron blades, which do the physical. Then you've got the same hilt, which gives you uh, critical hit damage. And then it'll show you uh, how powerful they're going to be when they're done. So 12 basic damage and then you know nothing else special. So that's all there is to that, and then I think there's someone here. I think this guy, he will train you, and you can have plus one to your blacksmithing. Now, the thing about the, the trainers is that they won't train you if you're higher level. So, for instance, that guy will train you if you're from level zero to three. So he will train you up to level three in blacksmithing. <clears throat> so if you look at, uh, we'll go to status, skills. So he will train you up to level 3, but if you're level 4, he will no longer train you. Uh, blacksmithing, sorry. If you're level 4, he will no longer train you. Now, 
The thing to do is, if you ever find these trainers, you can unbind your destiny to reset your skill points. Then you can go to the trainer, and since your skill points aren't maxed, you can pay and train yourself and then get that skill point. That skill point will always be there. If you try to undo yourself, like unbind your destiny again, it will be like the base stats uh, of your uh, your race. So like your race, even if you unbind your destiny, he always has one to Sagecraft, two to Stealth, and then one to Persuasion, because as a Dalkofar, that's what you start with. So even if you unbind your destiny, you don't get those four uh, extra skill points to divvy out however you want. The same thing is said, uh, the same thing applies whenever you learn skill points. So if you learn them, then they're just stuck there forever. So say you learn like the level one to three, you learn the level four to six, and you learn the level uh, seven to nine, then if you unbind your destiny, you will have three skill points straight up in blacksmithing that you cannot remove. Period. They will always be there. But they're free skill points. So it's cool. And uh, if you ever over level and then find a trainer that trains you at lower levels, like for instance, I have persuasion up to level four already. If I find a, 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 tr a persuasion trainer that will literally train me up to like level from zero to three, since I'm level four, I can't do it. But if I unbind my destiny, then I can get trained and uh, then apply my other skill points. So it's it's pretty cool that it works like that. So you never have to waste. Uh, you never find a skill trainer and it, it end up being a waste. And if you find all the skill trainers, I believe you can get like up to uh, 10 extra skill points to use in whatever fashion you want. Pretty cool. It's definitely worth noting. So, we've got different quests all over the place now. If we zoom in, we can go over here to the Overgrown Thicket. We can do the quest there. We can go over here and talk to this guy, get that quest picked up. We can go over here, meet well uh, Rendig and Didden Hill. Um, um, go up here and report the attack. But we're going to go to Arden's Hut first because that's the main storyline quest. So since we're right here, we're just going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll probably do some more Sworn quests because uh, that's badass. And getting those out of the way early on is just a bunch of free experience. So it'll help you level up and you'll be better. So let's head into this hut. Now, as you can see, our races have much, much sexier women than the Fae. The Fae all have very blocky, masculine faces, women and men alike. None of them are hot like this one right here. This chick. Interesting. Yes. Not at all what I expected to find here. Well, I could say the same for you. I trailed a band of two Arthur to this place. They killed the Fate Weaver. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Yep, I'm a badass. Knowing you, you're definitely involved. But something tells me I know you better than you knew yourself. Probably. Don't you remember me? I'm hurt. No time for introductions now. The Tuatha are Look at that. The move. Sexy I'm RPG armor for females. Mm -mm -mm. The less no covered way. you are, the more protected you are. Until you teleport. That's not fair. Alright, well. I guess that's it for here. Let's go. Holy shit! Dude, you just teleported out of nowhere. It's dead. How did this happen? It's like it was his time. No, it wasn't. That's the whole point. I knew his fate. He wasn't supposed to die for years. This is impossible. Not that he'll really be missed, mind you. There's a reason he lived all the way out here. I was hoping to avoid this. But I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. He doesn't like this because Delok is uh, place to leave fate pretty serious Somewhere involving his fate and the fate of his life and death. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes You know his specialty. Me. No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go, I'll meet you there. Once I give Arden, as far as I can tell, you. fate weavers that specialize in death are typically badass game. warriors because they normally know the time of their own death and therefore they can just go into battle and be like yeah I'm not gonna die today so I know I'm gonna win 
or even if I don't win, I know I'm not going to die. So I'll escape one way or the other. So we're supposed to meet him at Delok, which is actually kind of far away. It's all the way down here in Etnmir. You have to go through Webwood, which is a series of quests involving this crazy lady. And you kind of have to do those to be leveled up enough to go into Etnmir. So it's kind of a complicated thing. Uh, I am going to uh, probably run around and try to take up some quests. And maybe fight a high-level monster just because it's a quest to fight a monster that is four levels ahead of you. Or not a quest, it's an achievement. And it's one of the only achievements in the game that I've gotten yet. So I'm going to go ahead, run out, and try to do that. So I will, I'll bring the game back when uh, we've got a quest to do or something else interesting happens. Till then, guys. See you later. So I remember we had this quest in the overgrown thicket to complete. And I figure might as well do this one since we've got about 10 minutes left on this recording. Uh, if I don't want to make it too super long. Ah, I almost had it. Ow. Boom and boom. Yeah, boom that EXP. Now, I am on the lookout for some Sky Blossom because Sky Blossom is, uh. Sky Blossom is necessary for me to make a potion, which I picked up a little quest uh, outside of, um. Outside of the Warsworn camp. Boom! Don't forget your fire ability. And uh, I need... <clears throat> anyway, I need Sky Blossom to complete it. I need Embrys uh, and Sky Blossom. Now, I have Embrys uh, reagents, but I don't have Sky Blossom reagents. And, um, yeah, those are the only ones I really need. So if I can find one Sky Blossom, I'll be able to make this uh, minor alchemy potion, give it to this dude, and complete a quest. The only other option is to steal it, and I'd rather not if I can help myself. So now we can kind of stealth around. The rogues are annoying. I don't like uh, enemies that have range attacks that are incredibly interruptive. Because they just get on your nerves very, very quickly. It's just one of those things. Badoom! Oh, a frost weave cowl. 
Now this is another set, the Frostweave set. It's actually a pretty good set, pretty high level set. Uh, problem with these sets is that it's completely random, like where you find them and when you find them. So, like you may find set items and want to try to keep them together in case you find the rest of the set. But since there's no actual like guaranteed place to find them, uh, you may be searching for a very, very, very long time. If you ever find them. So you may find the complete set when you're like level 30 and it's a set that's good when you're level like up to level 10. And then the set's, you know, basically worthless after that because even regular bits of armor are just much more powerful and have better stats. Or in most cases, you can craft much better uh, just armors and, and things of that nature. So <clears throat> it's kind of sad that the loot system doesn't work out in a more con comprehensive manner, but I, there's literally nothing I can do about that. Uh, absolutely nothing I can do about it. So we're going to go uh, back to the Shieldring Keep and we're going to turn in this quest that we just completed and get some experience, get some monies, and uh, roll out. And I guess that'll be the end of this video. And uh, we'll go from there. The contracts are listed on the board. Oh, yes, from Overground Thicket. But these days, if the payer has enough coin to spare, and is it good then? So we get 500 gold. And that's about it. Now, the experience you mo like for those kind of jobs, you usually get experience on the job. Uh, so you don't really get a lot of experience, if any, in some cases. Sometimes you'll get experience for completing the work, but usually you uh, you don't. Something to remember. So we're done with we're done with this leg of questing, and uh, we can continue on. We've, we've got a few quests uh, left over, so we can continue to do some quests for the uh, War Sworn. Or oh, that's my alarm clock. Or we can try to do uh, some other things. Uh, we may head down into the Webwood just because it's interesting to do. And we can go ahead and do the, the quests down there. Although, I don't know, I'll probably head over into Didden Hall and up here and, and start doing these quests uh, around this area. So, that's it for this. Uh, that's it for this time. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, this is Sage, and as always, my friends, peace.